how you're going to start off. <laughs> uh, I, re- I originally wasn't going to shoot the ball until I really seen the ball, and I just stepped back and shot it. Uh, I didn't expect to fall like that. But I, knew the, I kind of knew the shot was going in. I just wanted to get across. Was that the most disrespectful thing you've done to someone on the basketball court? <laughs> I don't even want to answer that. Uh, they're a great team, man. They're a good team, so we were just able to hit shots and stuff like that. But, man, I just shot this one. That's a crossover. Everybody get crossed. He was playing great defense initially, but he just wants to the ball back. But. Can you guys both talk about the first half, the way you guys played, what you did so well? Um, everybody played team ball. I think we came out ready to play. Everybody was making shots. We played good defensively. Um, BP did a good job coaching everybody, getting us in the right places and stuff. Uh, we knew how good of an opponent they were, so we definitely didn't take them lightly despite the losses that they had. They played great teams and they had a great ball club. They might win they leave, but we just knew that they was a great opponent and everybody was excited to play. We were so happy to come out and make a lot of shots. Like you said, Coach had a great game plan. Uh, Coach Ivory had a great, great game plan for uh, for those guys. We knew that they ran good action, so like we said, we didn't take them lightly. And we still happened to come out and make shots. Then Joe came out and made two big threes, so that, that just got us rolling from there. Samir, you, you guys had five, five guys in double figures tonight. You, the balance seems to be really strong early on in this season. Do you, you, you kind of sense that when you guys are out there? Yeah, uh, well, I didn't know that five different players was at double figures. That's good, but. We got a great team. It's not just surrounded by me or surrounded by Devon or Isaac. We got anybody can go off at any night like Dev. Had a few games where he was in double figures, and we expect that from those guys. That's why they're playing for us early on, like he's a freshman. But we know that anybody's capable of coming out and playing great. It can be anybody night, any any given night. Like some nights, I might I might be in single digits, but we still might have five players in double digits. So it's really a, a team effort all around, and. I mean, that, this can be like this every single night. Is headband smear become like a real thing? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, like, I wasn't, I wasn't going to wear the headband again tonight, but a few people told me to wear the headband, so I just wore it. But, I mean, we don't got to make it a hashtag or nothing like that. It's <laughs> definitely good to play good while I'm wearing the headband. The first half, it looks like you guys really got after it defensively. You guys talk about that? Um, once again, they had a great, uh, we, the scout team, they did good preparing us for the game today. We knew all their actions. We played good. And, yeah, they a good opponent, but I think we played. We, we were ready for it, all of it. Yeah, we just did, we just did a good job at, uh, well, like, like you said, the coaches did, did a good job at going over the action. The scout team did a really good job at, like, demonstrating the action. It, it kind of looked exactly like the stuff that they was running, so we were prepared more so. Like, but we always do a good job with the with the scouts. It's like since I've been here, my my one and a half years or whatever you want to call it, we I haven't seen a bad scout yet. So everything that coach tell us they're gonna run, we we see it. And the scout team always do a great job at going through their actions and giving us a good look at what they're gonna run. So it's like when they running it, we seen it two or three times, or two or three different days and multiple times. So. It's kind of hard to mess up certain actions when we've seen it a million times. Tevin, how do you feel like your transition to college basketball has been? And do you feel like you have a sense of what your role is? Um, when I first got here, you know, I was trying to figure everything out. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Um, coaches telling me to stay confident, just keep learning. And, you know, I think I'm the energy guy on the team, you know, with my dunks and stuff like that. Yeah, but it also looks like you're pretty comfortable shooting the three from the corner. Is that yeah, always been your my, shot? That's my hot spot. <laughs> you guys played five games in 13 days. Are you kind of ready for a little break? Next game's not until next Monday in New York. Uh, we did a great job off season to get prepared for situations like this. Like Coach D and did a great job with us. Josh did a good job with us during this off season to get us prepared for stretches like this. So, I mean, honestly, don't need it. Uh, how, how many off days we got? I don't really need that. Honestly, I'm ready to play whenever. But it's good to have an off day, you know, stuff like that. It's still gonna get shots and everything. But like I said, credit to the, to our uh, coaching staff for getting us prepared for this situation like this. Thoughts about getting to go to New York and play in a big arena? Uh, it's gonna be great. Uh, it's gonna be close to home, so I'm finally about to have a game close to close.
close enough to where a family member is about to be able to come. So that's going to be great. But as far as playing the rain, it's going to be a great experience for me and my teammates. But it's just another game for us. We're just ready for our, our next opponent. Devin, who had the better dunks tonight, you or Ivy? I go out of the What was your vantage point of that crossover? Uh, what did you say? What was your vantage point of the crossover? What, what, what would you see from it? Um, I just saw the dude. I saw the dude fall, and then I saw him turn around, and that that was the best part of it to me. I didn't know he made the shot. I threw, I threw it, went in, but yeah, we pissed off. Um, Devin, good. No more crossover.